So it is the weekend, and I keep hearing Grayson over in the corner in the other room. I think he's just playing by himself in the corner, so let's go see what he's doing. I am loving this independent play that he has all of a sudden started to do. Although, most of the time he won't let me out of the same room as him. We have to be in the same room. But I guess if he goes off on his own terms in another room, then it's okay. But if I go on my terms, then he freaks out. Hey! Do you want dinner? Oh, see, we need to childproof our cabinets now because he keeps getting into them, into our cleaning solution. Yeah, that's not good. Can you say, uh-oh? Can you say, up? Can you say, on? Say, on? No, on. <laughs> Can you say, off? He keeps looking at our fan to see if it's on or off. Say, on? Can you say open? Up. Can you say close? Can you say all done? All done. Can you say please? Can you say more? Can you say more? Can you say, I love you. I love you. I love you is supposed to be this, but he can't figure that out with the finger, so he just waves his hand. It's really cute. <laughs> it's where I keep all of Grayson's snacks. Oh, there he goes. Bye. Grayson's always getting some kind of snack out. I've got like teether wheels, I've got melts, I have puffs, I've got like baby Cheetos, all these like Gerber snacks and he loves them because he doesn't really eat much when I feed him dinner. I don't know why. I guess he just prefers snacks instead. I don't though. He doesn't eat that much snacks. What do you have to say? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. You have to bring them to Mama. These are called like biscuit biscuits or something, um, but I call them cookies. You want a cookie? So the other day, Anthony and I and Grayson drove about two hours um, almost to the border of Indiana. And we went to go celebrate Anthony's grandma turning 80 years old. Um, there were a couple ideas um, thrown around of what we should do, but in the end we just decided to have a cookout at her house. Um, we just kind of converted her garage into like a seating area and brought in tables and chairs and stuff and we just had a cookout. So we cooked out and we um, had burgers and brats and we had a cake and we sang and 
Um, it was super fun. Um, I took a group shot of everybody there, and then also Grayson was so happy to finally be out of the car because, like I said, it was a two-hour drive, so that's a lot for him. Uh, thankfully, he did nap in the car, um, so that was nice, but it was a long drive. It was a long day because it was a four-hour drive total. Um, so it was a long day, but it was worth it. It was good to see everybody, but Grayson was super happy to be out of the car. So he was running around, um, going in the grass and just loving having freedom. Anthony's parents were there and they brought their dog. He's a poodle. And so Grayson, of course, loves dogs. And so he went to the dog and they were playing and um, he was chasing the dog everywhere. So he was having a lot of fun. And then in the backyard, um, Anthony's grandma has a swing that she has tied to her tree, kind of like how we have in our backyard, but unlike our house, which has a baby swing, she just has like a regular swing. It's just like a wooden plank tied with rope to the tree. So Grayson was loving the swing. Of course, he couldn't swing himself. So whenever anybody got on that swing, he demanded that they sit him on their lap and swing him. So he was having a great time with that. At one point, I think everybody gave him a turn in the swing. And so there was also like a wind chime there and it was making noise and he was loving that. So it was great. It was just like perfect day, no rain, which was crazy because like the whole week before it had only rained, like only ever rained. Like, I don't know if I said that right. It like rained all the time. There was no sun ever. And then we got to that day and it was beautiful weather. It was a little hot, but you couldn't even tell because it was so windy there. So where Anthony's grandma lives, it's like in the middle of nowhere and it's really just surrounded by like fields that farmers use. And um, so there was no trees or anything to block the wind. Um, it was, it's always windy there. And the one downfall of that was there was a hog farm like on the other side of her house. And you couldn't tell that there was hog farm unless there was a wind that came like at the perfect direction. And so every couple minutes we would be smelling like pig poop and it was just not great. But other than that, it was a good day. Um, a long day, like I said, but I'm glad we went. It was a great time. Um, everybody loved seeing Grayson and um, he was the only little kid there. So he was basically everyone's entertainment. <laughs> Please. 